this game as Jeremiah Masoli leads the Ticats out. I roll the ball in place at the 45 yard line, first down. Was only 2 0 in his career against Toronto. 2 0 against Toronto and 3 and 1, and but for a call down on the one yard line, maybe 4 and 0 as a starter this year. 7 for Gable, second and 3. Play action fake. That pass caught by Banks. He's loose. Gets a block. He's gone. Down the sidelines. Speedy B. Touchdown. 58 yards. Oh, he had another gear, didn't he? He put it in overdrive. About halfway down that run. And just outrun the angle. First of all, Jeremiah Masoli leads him into this little hit screen. Good accuracy pulling him back towards that opening. And watch this change of speed right here. Another gear, and he is gone out running the angle of Rico. Like Speedy B outside, you want to get him. But watch how the ball is thrown inside like this from Jeremiah Masoli to help bring him away from the defender. You stop it there. Now, usually you're going to see that ball thrown right there, but he throws it into this spot here. That pulls him back into the middle and gives him a chance to make that first man miss. And now that change of speed is right there. He kicks it into another gear and is gone. What a start. Good field position with the illegal kickoff. Jeremiah Masoli, in a couple of plays, scores the first major. Subtle chip there by Ryan Bomben to help Banks on his way. How about Filer all the way down the field trying to get a block? So Castillo kicks it off. Ortiz Jackson. And he is taken down quickly. That's Nikita Whitlock downfield. And it's a quick start for the Ticats on offense and the team. Oh, I love that. Nikita Whitlock covering kicks. And he's a D lineman. Ricky Ray, six and six on the season against the Hamilton Tiger Cats. 18 and 11. Start 213. For a guy going straight into the Hall of Fame the moment he retires. Number two of the league. Cleaned up down on that hard bench. So Masoli back to work over the middle and a catch made by Jalen Saunders. Saunders was. Yeah. Shut out last week was surprised, but has been good in the past against the Argos. Yeah, the big receiver last week for Hamilton was Luke Tasker. Some big, big catches, including a late third down throw that set up the game winning field goal. But yeah, it was surprised to see that Jalen Saunders didn't have a catch. Tasker and Saunders in the top 15 in receiving. Tasker up to 11th. Pass thrown. Caught by Tasker. That gets started their 23. Quarterback draw. It's Masoli. And Bear Woods will track him down, but Masoli runs for a first down, leading quarterback rusher in the league. And 13th overall as Masoli runs for 12. Rushed 20 times for 152 yards in his four starts. 39 yards per game, and it opens up the inside run lanes in the offense, as does Mark Trespin of late. Second and 10. Four man rush. Mazzoli out of the pocket. Tuckle in pursuit. Look out. Pass caught. And Andy Fantuz is back. Matt Black to hit, but Fantuz with his first catch since October the 28th of last year when he suffered a knee injury, and some of the fans. Acknowledging his return. Yeah, and they gave him the big Fantuz cheer. And it's probably best that Fantuz takes this hit from Matt Black in his very first catch just to get that rust off him. Because until you take the first hit, you can be a little bit tentative, a little bit reluctant. He knows he's going to get hit. He goes up to get it. And that's a big hit by Matt Black. There are the numbers for the new starting quarterback in Hamilton since June Jones took over and in this streak of three wins and four starts. You know, it's, it's been solid. One turnover, cost the Argos points in the red zone. So we start the second quarter with the Ticats moving and a completion here, Tasker, and a touchdown safety tackle by Brandon Harris. But the Ticats moving, it's first and goal. 
Well, when you, you're covering route runners, it's difficult. A little bit of pressure there from Marcus Ball, but he's coming from that outside linebacker spot, and he can't help in the coverage for Brandon Harris. So Brandon Harris is in a one-on-one, -on -one and Mazzoli knew that, so he got it to Luke Tasker immediately. They mark it at the 11, so first and 10. Pressure and it's only got away down to the goal line. They spread it out on second and one. It'll be Mazzoli around the edge and it's an easy touchdown. But Mazzoli has said to us time and time again, I'm as successful because Caleros is helping me because he knows it's not about me or him, it's about the team. Guys, it's only running here as nothing was available up to the top. But he's too good a player to be nailed to the bench. Second and seven. Was only on a roll. Anybody open? Open. Flag comes down in the secondary as Mazzoli runs it up to the 50. Big to Gable looking for Van Toons. And the catch made Brandon Harris. Two for seven in second down conversion. Second down here, Mazzoli with the throw, and it's caught by Banks. Actually, the pass in the direction of Banks. Second and 10. Mazzoli dancing in the pocket, now runs out of it. Throws on the run, and he gets it there to Saunders at midfield, or at the 50 in the first down. Boy, this is, this is a throw on the run that's top. This, this is a, a pro throw, and, and watch Jeremiah Masoli stay calm, eyes up. He retreated a little bit until he found a running lane, and then on the dead fly, guns it. Goes down, pulls this down, he'll run across midfield, and gets six, Bear Woods there. So a half minute to go, and getting into Castile Reigns. Take a look at one of the reasons June Jones went with C.J. Gable instead of Alex Green is Gable's ability to help when he blocks. And he steps up right there on Victor Butler to open up a running lane for Jeremiah Masson. Might be the best in the league. Yeah, the absolutely, absolutely. Second and four. It's only looking around. It's got the man. And Saunders pulls him down. And now they are in field goal range. But time to take a shot at the end zone. Boy, this is a good catch by Jalen Saunders because he, he has to wait on this. It's high. He's got his back to the defenders. He knows he's going to get hit. That's one of those leads you into those big, huge collisions. And, and he has to Hamilton timeout, Jake. keep his nerve. He's open. Ball thrown a little bit high and exposes his rib cage, but brings it down before the defenders can get there. Former Oklahoma Sooner, 13th in the league in receiving. <laughs> Jones called the timeout to make sure he's got the play he wants. Take one shot and then kick the field goal if you don't get it. From the 19, Argos cover pressure. Pass is caught around the two yard line with six seconds to go. Now they got stuck in the Saskatchewan game down late and did not go for it. Gable again on the block. Go ahead, Chris. Now the coach tell me to go with the quarterback sneak here because you still have time. You One should be able in. to nice sneak catch. it with six seconds to go. And that's what they're going to do here. Gotta be efficient, can't back up, retreat, bounce around back there, be decisive on this decision here for Mazzoli. They're gonna run it, they are gonna throw for it, and they're gonna score a touchdown! Luke Tasker! Jude Jones must have made a mental note there. It was six seconds. Even if that was incomplete, he's got two to kick the field goal. So he's getting the hang of the time management in the Canadian Football League, something that Mark Tressman will tell you took a while for him to learn. Boy, nice pick plays down on the goal line are 
as the offense would like to call them, rubs. Brandon Banks going inside. Luke Tasker coming out. And now trying to make it a seven point advantage. Four receivers near side. Is only looking that way. The turnaround in the Tie Cats coincides with June Jones taking over as head coach and Jeremiah Vazzoli being named the starting quarterback mm -hmm. instead of Zach Caleros. I mean, from what you've seen, what is it about Mazzoli's skill set, his running, that works for the June Jones system? Both he and Zach have the ability to run the football, but it's the willingness of uh, Jeremiah Mazzoli to actually run the football, which opens up the run game, which mm -hmm. we've seen, whether it be Green or C.J. Gable. Gable well on his way for 100 tonight. Watch this. This is beautiful. Defense man, he's got contained. That's the guy that Mazzoli's reading. Watch this beautiful reach and ride technique. Well, that's from years of running the option for him back in the day. And the defensive end freezes. He doesn't know who has the ball, and therefore, Gable's got the lane and leverage. And then watch this. The Argonauts mix it up, and they're now going to switch responsibilities. Let the defensive end play the run. Linebacker from depth, is who's got better athletic ability and leverage to play Mazzoli on the run. And Mazzoli's reading this out beautifully. He sees that, but Andy Fantus comes in and seals the defensive end, actually knocks him into the ball carrier, but C.J. Gable breaks that tackle. Now watch, Bob and Matthews, left guard, uh, right guard, right tackle, false read, bringing down that defensive uh, end, and the D-tackle. Andy Fantus seals it, Mazzoli reads it out, and he's off to the race, it's to the one yard line. They only got a field goal out of that, but that is three examples of how a quarterback's willingness and ability to run the football actually opens up the run. She saw me today and said he wanted to give me some pointers, but then when I asked him what really should I do, he kind of paused and said, Shinetti, I really can't help you. You just can't catch, guys. <laughs> Stick to the sideline reporting. <laughs> the first one of the game, he took a big hit from Matt Black. Second and nine, three-man Argo rush. It's only downfield, got a receiver. Saunders to catch the first down. Run down by Terrence Plummer. Well, that was a nice touch. Just the, the run threat from Jeremiah Mazzola gives him that extra second or two in the pocket. And when he gets that time, he's, he's becoming more and more accurate. Every snap he gets, every start he gets, that, that's over coverage. Threw it right over Terrence Plummer. And dropped it into Saunders right on the sideline. Down Hamilton. He'll swing it to the near side for Tasker. Makes a man miss. And Tasker's a crossbeat. Just the rest of the opponents remaining. Let me away. Ten. Pressure on. Open man. And it's Saunders again. Down around the 36 yard line for Jalen Saunders. And now he's over 100 like Brandon Banks. Well, first of all, Masoli has to wait for Jalen Saunders for a second just to make a couple moves here because, once again, the Argos are playing a lot of man-to-man -man press coverage. So Masoli has to retreat, has a guy in his face, throws it around that rush. But what a route by Jalen Saunders, too. He really just shaking. Argos bring pressure. Pass caught. That's good to Jandy Fantuz.